Hi there, my name is Pam and I am a vehicle sales manager for an automotive dealer company. In our company, we use Anata Dynamics, IDMS, a powerful management solution which is built as an add-on to Microsoft Dynamics AX and is specifically designed to support the automotive, equipment, rental, and fleet industries. Anata Dynamics, IDMS, is used to cover industry-specific needs throughout the entire life cycle of a product, all within one solution. Before we look at the functionality of Anata Dynamics, IDMS, I want to show you my role center. I use the role center as my dashboard, as this gives me access to the parts of the system that I need to as part of my day-to-day -day work. The queues at the top of the role center give me direct access to the forms that show me what is happening in my part of the business. As an example, I can see the number of devices that are on hand and how long they have been in stock. Just below the queues, the KPIs display real-time information relating to performance of my department. The reports also help me to track what's happening in my business. Right at the bottom of the role center, the alert section highlights the most urgent tasks that I need to act on immediately. Let's now have a look at the device table. When I look at the device record, I can see the lifetime information relating to the vehicle, equipment, or any other type of device that you would like to track with its individual device number. Each list page, such as this one, also has a more detailed view where you can find static information such as technical details of the equipment or transactional information such as purchase and sales orders, workshop cases, and more. This is the detail view of the item from which the Mercedes CLS 350 has been created. Multiple vehicles can be created from a single item. This view shows me some of the static information that is copied across to each vehicle that has been created. This includes brand, class, and model that is used to create a structure for the vehicles that are held on my system. Additional information can also be tracked against this structure. For example, the brand can control the warranty terms available for a vehicle. This screen also shows information relating to the specification of the vehicle or equipment. The configuration of the vehicle is set up against an item on the system, usually as a bill of materials, and is used during the sales process. The example that I'm showing is a sales order that uses the standard functionality available with Dynamics AX2012, which has been extended with features specific to the automotive and equipment industries, such as the access to the configurator. I can access this functionality by clicking on the IDMS icon. On this menu, apart from the device configurator, there is also the trade specification form. We'll take a look at it later on. The configurator itself guides me, working with the prospect or customer, through the building of the vehicle. The starting point of the five-stage process is the selection of the model, based on the brand, class, or model structure that we have already seen. This tree structure enables me to narrow down the search to find the model that the customer wishes to buy. The system then guides me through the other stages of the configurator to select the options including the accessories or extras that I can sell with the vehicle. At the build product stage, I'm able to select the configuration of the vehicle. In this example, I have selected the luxury configuration, which is displayed in the central section of the form. The specification list helps me to share additional information with the customer during the sales process. I am also able to make selections based on the exterior color of the car as well as the interior fabric. Multiple images are available for me to show the customer some more details of the car they are looking to buy. The customize stage enables me to work with my customer to add any other options to their car. These options might be changes to the original choices, but others might be extras that help me to get a bigger sale. I can either look at the options overall or, by clicking on one of the headings, such as Sound, I can view the options specific to that area. I am also able to view and sell option packages, which offer better value for money to my customer. By clicking on the Accessories tab, I am able to offer additional items to the customer. Perhaps they might be interested in a fitted child seat or maybe a roof rack. The matching stage enables me to search for the vehicles that most closely match what the customer is looking for. By making changes to the criteria, I can widen the search and view other vehicles. 
This might encourage a customer to change to a car that is already available, rather than waiting for another vehicle to be ordered and delivered. In this example, we can see that two of the cars that match 100% are in stock and that three similar ones are ordered. We can see that two cars have already been selected on another sales order. If the customer was desperate for an early delivery, it would be possible for me to go to one of the sales orders and remove the reservation so that I could sell the car on this sales order. Once all of the sections have been made, a summary of the vehicle is displayed, where you can see the total cost of the vehicle and the accessories or extras that have been selected. When I click on OK, this transfers all the information to the sales order itself. Once the details appear, I can process the sales order. This will include steps such as confirmation, if I like to send a copy to my customer, delivery, and invoicing. I can also record the payments that I have received from the customer. There is also trade-in functionality available as part of the sales contract. So if my customer wants to trade in their old vehicle or even multiple vehicles, I can manage this directly through the system. As I mentioned earlier, from the IDMS menu, I can also select the trade specification form. This enables me to sell other things to my customer, such as insurance or a service package, and even enter more information about the car. This includes expected usage, which helps to identify when the owner should be contacted when the car needs scheduled maintenance. And I can even make a registration request on behalf of the customer. To help with the timing of the delivery of the car, I am able to book the pre-delivery preparation case directly from the trade specification form. And this is an example of how we use Anata Dynamics IDMS to cover our dealer management needs. You can now take a look at how other companies are using IDMS by checking the next videos. Thanks for watching.